Hello everyone. Today, I'm excited to reveal how you can craft a celestial moon suspended gracefully in the cosmic ocean using Blender. So let's start the video. To begin, let's remove the default cube and introduce a plane. Next, navigate to the Modifiers tab and select the Ocean Modifier. Now you can explore and adjust the geometric wave settings to your liking. After you've finished, proceed to animate the waves by setting the initial keyframe at frame 0 and the final keyframe at frame 200, focusing exclusively on the timing keyframes. OK, next, add a plane and create a vertex group. Enter edit mode, perform a subdivision with 50 cuts on the plane. Assign it to the created group. Apply a modifier by selecting shrink wrap. Designate the target plane and the corresponding vertex group. As a result, the plane will gracefully follow the undulating waves, achieving a lifelike appearance. Now, we'll incorporate the foam effect. Label the data layer as A and set the coverage to 0.2. Create a new material and opt for a blue color. Amplify the maximum transmission value. Let's incorporate some nodes into the setup. Start by adding attribute nodes. Then, insert a shader node and place it between the BSDF and surface nodes. Follow this by adding an emission node and connecting it to the shader node. Afterward, include a color ramp node. Connect the attribute color to the factor input of the color ramp and link the color ramp's output to the emission color input. Make sure to name the attribute as A. Now you should notice the foam effect, and if you need to fine tune its density, simply adjust the color ramp slider as needed. Next, craft a half moon or any other object of your choice to position within the ocean scene. Now let's make the moon float along with the waves. To achieve this, navigate to Add Object Constraint and select Copy Location. Choose Plane 001 as the target, then select the Vertex group and enable Offset. As a result, the moon will seamlessly ride the waves. Download the image link in this video description. Now, link the image to the emission input of the ocean material. Take some time to experiment with the emission strength until you achieve the desired visual effect. Afterward, you can render this as an MP4 or any preferred format that suits your needs best. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next videos.